Welcome to Christ Center Gamers unboxing of Turtle Beaches. I'm sorry, it's Rock Hat's latest microphone. Now this is gonna be an interesting review. I apologize for one, I got my cool glasses on because uh, we are in the middle of moving and our house is a disaster. It is very messy inside there. Boxes everywhere, stuff all over the place. I don't think I could find a neat spot to unbox this if I wanted to. And yet, I don't want to wait because I'm excited for what is in this box. So, instead, you get to enjoy my beautiful suburban backyard. I get to stare at the sun, except I got these glasses on to make it a little bit easier. And you get to see the contents of this box with the best possible lighting. So, there we go. And you all get to hear the occasional car driving by and beautiful creature making noise. This should be interesting. All right. <laughs> So let us get started. In this box is something I've been looking forward to. Actually, it was announced quite a while ago. And they finally released it a little bit later than anticipated, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know that about that. But regardless, I'm definitely looking forward to this. And um, yeah, so my wife has done quite a few microphone reviews. Um, I have not done very many, if any. I'm not sure actually if I've done any or not. I've reviewed headsets with microphones, but I've not reviewed microphones by themselves. But I finally get the opportunity to review Rock Hat's latest torch. So I'm definitely looking forward to this. Um, I really like to look at this product in the product descriptions. And uh, I'm really looking forward to checking this out. So I've been actually using a blue mic for... I don't know, probably the last five or ten years or so. I mean, it's one that my wife got originally, and then she got sent microphones to review with a nice boom stand or whatever, so she stopped using it. I'm like, you know what? I really like that. Why don't you let me use that mic? And uh, it's been serving me pretty well, but it really is just a, a, ba a ball with, with, a, with a USB plug. I don't have any controls on it. It just records. It does a pretty good job, admittedly, but all it does is record. This... On the other hand, it's got knobs. Anybody who knows me knows I like controls. So let's check this thing out together. All right, first we got the Rocket Torch. Uh, here is a picture, nice fancy picture on the box. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see, it says USB microphone right here. A studio grade USB microphone, I should say. Uh, it says it's got 24-bit studio quality sound, which is great. Uh, hopefully you can read that. Uh, zero latency audio output. Dual condenser capsules, which is great. It supports a stereo mode, which I'll show you soon. A reactive RGB lighting, which, hey, if you like the glow, nothing wrong with that. And three selectable pickup patterns, which is great. Uh, also, on this side, it's got, uh, let's see, contactless quick mute, which I'll have to play with. Uh, integrated pop filter, which is great. If we don't need to add one, that's always nice. And let's see what the back looks like now. We've got... Mixer style controls, which is, I'm um, actually, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, whisper pickup pattern. Uh, this one says, perfect for late night sessions or when quietness is key. Also features stereo for collaborative streaming and cardioid for general use. Those are the other patterns that it has. Uh, integrated pop filter, okay. Um, and it says studio quality, 24, kil or 24 bit with 48 kilohertz sampling rate. So it should be a very good quality for pickup. And uh, all right, uh, let us see what it says on the bottom. It's got the included package contents. You can, I'll zoom that in there so you can read it. But basically it says it's got the torch itself, studio grade microphone, bass with recording studio style controls, uh, two microphone to bass connector cable, a USB-C to USB APC connection cable, quick start guide. The technical specs, I'll go ahead and read those since I like technical specs, 24-bit uh, sample rate with 44 kilohertz and optional 44.1 kilohertz mode, which is good. Uh, let's see, 6.5 millimeter condenser capsules. I don't know what that symbol is. Proprietary, I don't know what it is, 14 by 6.5 millimeter. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, I have to look that up. Looks like I get some education. Uh, let's see, cardioid, stereo, and whisper pickup patterns. Whisper was special and unique to this. 
uh, 20 to 20 kilohertz frequency response, 110 decibel max SPL, which is actually really good. Uh, 110 decibel pickup is pretty solid. Uh, zero latency, 3.5 millimeter, four pole headphone socket. Cool. Turtle Beach True Speak technology. I don't know what that is yet, but hopefully it's good. Uh, Turtle Beach Audio Hub compatible. Okay. Uh, and then dimensions. Weight is 500 grams with the microphone and stand, and the weight without the stand is 290. It supports USB 1.1, 2.0, and 3, and it says it supports all versions of Windows 7 and up, um, which is great. Though, honestly, I'm curious if it works in other operating systems as well. If it just shows up as a microphone device, I don't see why it wouldn't. So, all right. Let's see what we got in this box. If this is a very dull knife. I, <laughs> I got it for my daughter because we had just happened to be there, and it is dull. It does not cut well at all. And we all know what happens when you got dull knives. It's more likely for you to cut yourself. So hopefully, I don't need this too much today. All right. All right. So we got the nice ribbon on top to make opening easy. All right, and then we've got inside just packing material there. We go ahead and pull this out. Let's see what we get. All right, more packing material here. And off we comes. Whoop! Off comes the top. And let's see what we got here. All right, so we've got ourselves a couple USB cables. Very good. One's a C to C. One's an A to C. All right, we've got our friendly manual. We've got our mic plus stand, which looks really nice, I must say. And then we have another short cable. It looks like it's C to C. So this is supposed this well, it's supposed to be. It is compatible with uh, boom mic arms, and I'm guessing the way they do that is you can maybe you can plug this in the back. You can see here you've got a, a plug right here. Uh, this yeah, this is the microphone end. Okay, two mic. Wait, this is okay. It says two mic, and this says two mic, because they're the same, okay. All right, so this goes here, right? And then this bottom goes in this port right here. This is to mic, right on the bottom. You see that? So you can see there's two ports, two Type-C ports, a uh, headphone jack right here. Uh, maybe it's a little centered. Uh, and then... I'm not, I'm not sure what the switch does. One, two, three. I wonder what that does. I'm not entirely sure. A brightness button right here, which you can turn on and off RGB, I'm guessing. Um, and then you've got in the front, you've got, okay, first of all, this has, uh, you can probably remove this right here. You've got a thread, right? And it, does it tilt? It does tilt a little bit. So you can see uh, swivel, tilt, okay. You've got a gain knob or a slider, which is awesome. Makes it feel like a professional uh, device. And then you've got a volume knob right here, and then the three different polar patterns. Okay, so actually it's got, it's also a power. So off, and then what I'm assuming is whisper, cardioid, and stereo. Okay. I'll zoom that in real good so you can get a good idea of what that looks like. All right, so this is nice. Um, so that, I wonder if that means this works without the bass. Uh, that's actually really neat that it'll work either standalone or um, without the base. That's nice. Oh, also, I don't know if you noticed, but the Rock Hat logo up front is probably RGB, most likely. So, all right, I'm going to clear out some of this junk right here. Okay, and here, take our pretty box and sit it in our less pretty box. And I have myself a pair of wired headphones, these Cost Porta Pros. Everyone should have one if they don't. And uh, I'm going to see what happens if I just plug it in blind. All right, now, the fun part is I'm actually blind because I can barely see the screen <laughs> on my laptop here. But we will make the best of it. So let's see what we got here. My laptop can take either cable. I appreciate that they have... Oh, that's interesting. All right, so this cable has these two microphone plugs on it. Uh, and I think that could mean that if the, sep the base was separated from the boom arm, so you could separate this, I bet you could put this in the clip and keep this here and then have the full distance between the two covered with this. So maybe it doesn't work without this. Uh, I don't know if it works without this or not, and I guess that's one thing I'll have to test. And then you have this, which is two computer. 
see, that is very interesting. All right, I don't need this right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and set it aside. I'm just gonna open this cable up right here. Try to lose, I mean, not lose this, this twisty tie for now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this Type-C cable right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug this guy right in the side of my laptop for the moment. And what do we get? Um, oh, it's off. I don't think it's glowing yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and we get to see it together, okay? Here we go. Okay, so I turned something uh, and I don't see any lights. So maybe the lights are for this button. I don't see any lights. Okay, so this is interesting. Uh, maybe this is a case where I need the drivers for it to glow or the sun is so bright that I can't actually, oh, that's what it is. Downside of working outside, you can't actually see the glow. Yep, it's glowing red, I can't tell. <laughs> Oh man, I guess I'm gonna have to test this on the inside. The inside of the house, that is. All right, well, let me go ahead and test out the um, microphone here. It actually has, oh, I can, look at that, I can see a mute button on it. How does that work? Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's got a swipe. So this little red LED on the bottom right here will glow, hopefully you can see it, when I swipe it. So it'll. Turn on and off. There should be an LED right here. Okay, and I just moving it to my face turned it on. I don't know if you can see it, but it's on now. And it just turned off, and all I did was use use my chin to turn it on and off, which is kind of interesting. All right, so let me see how it sounds. Right now I'm just plugged into my laptop sound system. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a mic listen through Windows here. Uh, and maybe I'll record on Audacity. Just a second. So sounds, make sure it's showing up in Windows. Uh, recording. Uh, we have Torch microphone. Good. Properties. Okay, it's already there. Uh, properties. Uh, I can listen through the device if I want to. It's already it's set to 93. So let me turn this volume knob. Okay, it does not affect that. The gain knob is also not affected. That is interesting. So I don't know. The software settings are different. Oh. Now I can see the glowing lights on the side of this. That's funny. Oh, oh, look at that. As I, as I adjust the gain knob, the glowing right here goes up and down. That's neat. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this up to 100%. Uh, just leave it there. Uh, it's got, it sets 24-bit uh, 48 kilohertz, which is great. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and listen to myself talk and see what this is like. All right, testing, testing. All right, my gain is in the middle. My gain is here. Uh, it does not seem to be working, so um, I don't know why that is. Uh, maybe it's my volume of my headphones is not high enough. Uh, let me see. Oh, wait, you know what? Speakers. This has a headphone jack. I guess that means I'm supposed to use this. Let me plug it in here. That's it. Oh, isn't that interesting? Okay, so I'm going to uncheck listen to this device. All right, so now I'm not hearing myself. Okay, um, so I'm going to go ahead and recheck that listen to this device. This is a built-in Windows feature. Uh, many of you are familiar with it. It adds a little bit of an echo, but it's not bad. All right, so I turned the gain down. I can barely hear myself. I turned it all the way up, and I'm very loud. All right, um, the volume knob, I don't... Okay, it is make... Uh, is it working? Oh, I can also press it to mute. Okay, so this might be affecting the, the output of the headphones. Um, all right, so hear myself. I can no longer hear myself because I just pressed the mute button. So right here, this volume knob right here controls the headphones, right? And when I push on it, it affects the volume of the output. So that is really neat. Um, I, li I like that. All right, so now I'm muted and now I'm unmuted. So very nice. Okay, so, all right. So this is the cardioid pattern. So I should notice, actually, let me see something real quick. So this is on the playback uh, speakers. Then this, should, this is a sound card, right? So let me see what it says. All right, it's currently set to 50. Oh, this does affect the Windows volume. 
so I can bring it all the way up to 100 if I want to go deaf. Um, and it supports 24-bit, 48 kilohertz audio output. So this is actually kind of a sound card in its own right. All right I'm going to turn this off and see if it still acts as a sound card. So let me turn that off. All right, so nope, it just disappeared. Okay, so this is not showing up without the microphone. Uh, but let me go ahead and turn it back on. And now it is, uh, let me see here now. Yep, now it's back, uh, but I think it's still set to listen to itself. Let me go ahead and turn that off in Windows. Okay. All right, so I'm not listening to myself anymore. But I'm curious how this is it's just a sound card, you know. I mean, it's got, it's a full-blown sound card. I think that's amazing. All right, so yeah, and when I turn this, it adjusts the volume. So I, uh, let me just play my silly, just some music that I happen to have on here just so we can see how well it works as a sound card. Yep, it's sure it is. I get, uh, it's, it's definitely working. Uh, let me see how the mute button works. Uh, the mute button does not do that. The mute button only affects the microphone. Okay, so I have to turn it up and down, but I can bring it all the way down to two, all the way up to 100, and I'm listening to my fancy music. It's not the best knob, it kind of skips occasionally, so I have to, it, it works better if I move more slowly. But it's definitely working, which is really cool. Uh, I like that that is an option. It's a way to use this that you might not have otherwise expected. It's for it to actually work as a sound card. You can hook your headphones up to it. It's it's a sound card. I mean, it's really cool. And it's a 24-bit 48 kilohertz one. That's really not bad. Okay, so that is neat and unexpected. All right. Uh, so let me see what this does. I actually don't know. So right now it's on the highest setting. Uh, maybe it's mic sensitivity, but it's, that's what game would be for. So I really, maybe it's LED brightness. Um, okay, I don't know what that does. I may have to just dig into the manual to find that out. <laughs> Poor me and my manuals. Yeah, this is about a lot more to this than I expected. Um, this is very interesting. So let's dive into this manual. So what do we got here? Studio grade USB microphone. Okay, what does that button in the back do? So it's compatible with third party boom arms because this comes off, which is correct. Ball joint for added flexibility. Yep, pickup pattern selector. We already went through that. And power, right? Uh, swipe to mute, which does indeed work. It is muted. And it's, oh, you know what I never pointed out before? When the microphone is connected and active, it actually shows you that. Um, here, let me swipe that again. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Come on. Maybe it's because I'm... There we go. I don't know if you can see it, but it says live right there. So that is neat. Not to mention the LEDs here, which may or may not be easy to see in the sun, but apologies for that. I didn't consider that when I decided to film out here. Uh, all right, so let's see. Um, gain slider, which we already talked about. Microphone sensitivity. Master volume knob. When I press to mute, that affects the microphone instead of the swipe. So you can either swipe or push the button, uh, which is great. Uh, let's see. Uh, next page. There we go. Contactless quick. Okay. This is LED brightness right here. Okay, so this guy is... That's weird. Okay. This is the LED brightness. So I can make this super bright, really bright, or off. So if I'm not an RGB guy, we can just turn it right off. And then this is low, medium, and high. And it affects everything, including the screen brightness. So this is all the way bright now. So I don't know if you could see it well before, but this is fully brightened. So pretty cool. All right, and so this one right here is a sensitivity to the contactless quick mute. In other words, did you guys notice how before I would swipe and my chin would set it off, right? With this, well, now I can make it super, not very sensitive. And yeah, I just swiped and it didn't actually shut off. Not shutting off, not shutting off. 
So if you don't like the contactless mute, you can turn it down. Here's in the middle. It didn't notice, didn't notice. Oh, now it noticed it, right? Didn't work, didn't work. Now it worked, so you can see it lowers the sensitivity. Turning it all the way down means you, you basically have the button, which honestly, as cool as that is, and there definitely is a place for that, um, I think I'll probably stick with the button because I like to be sure when something works. Um, so I'm just pushing it on and off and it's, you know, it's, it's being, it's pretty consistent when I push the button. Um, and with the gain slider, you can always adjust how bright you are anyhow. Oh, I didn't even notice this either. All right. Remember how I said that as a slider, the gain, the RGB goes up and down? Well, check this out. Hopefully you can see it. I don't know if you can, but it actually goes all the way up and down the sides, the RGB. Uh, this is all the way up, the glowing all the way up to here. I drop it to the middle, it's only glowing up to here. Bring it all the way down, it's only glowing it to the very bottom. So, pretty neat. Uh, pretty neat. All right, so, now that we've discovered all of that together, one last thing is for me to actually do a test recording. Um, so let me go ahead and do a test recording. Now, it's funny, I did a test recording with the internal mic on this laptop. So I'm going to go ahead and listen to that real quick. Honestly, better than I expected, but it has a lot of noise. So I'm going to go ahead and do another track. New track. I'm in Audacity. All right, so it should be good. Uh, let me just make sure it's using the right recording device. Uh, microphone is going to become sound, master, sound mapper input. That hopefully works correctly. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. I'll test it with some with some with some muting. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and click record on this. Wait, wait. That's the microphone. Microphone. Sound mapper input. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a test recording. Uh, I actually, you know what? If I tap this, it should make noise. So that's one way to know. All right. Yep, it's working. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that. I'm going to go ahead and delete this track. Delete that. Delete that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and record my voice. All right. Here we go. I'm going to play with the gain knob. I'm going to play with the Polaroid patterns. Let's check this out. All right, testing, one, two, three, full gain. Testing, one, two, three, half gain. Testing, one, two, three, full gain again. Testing, one, two, three, full gain in stereo. Testing, one, two, three, full gain in whisper mode. Testing, one, two, three, in whisper mode. And I'm going to hit stop. Stop. All right, so let's see what I sound like. Let's go to the beginning here, and I will give you guys a report. Oh, that's neat. Okay, so one thing I noticed, uh, stereo does sound neat. I'm not used to microphones with stereo. Uh, there's a slight echo, which you kind of would make sense, right? I mean, you're talking about a microphone, um, and it's picking up in two places, so you kind of expect that. Uh, the other thing is that whisper mode it wasn't substantially louder when I spoke normally, but when I whispered, it picked it up a lot better. So I'm guessing it must maybe do some kind of compression on the signal. It's just a guess um, to bring up the, the quieter aspects of it. There was some noise in the background. Uh, I didn't find it to be distracting, but, you know, I'm also outside. So it's not really a quiet anechoic chamber here. Uh, the sound quality was good. Uh, let me just compare real quick to the original one. Okay, uh, that sounded better than I would expect, um, but let me go ahead and go to my, my guy here. Uh, much louder, much louder. Yeah. Yeah, so I would say this definitely is a lot more punch to the to the recording, and but you can always adjust the gain slider and get it to the volume level that you want. Uh, so yeah, um, I think that's enough for now. This is a pretty a fairly long video. What I expected to be a five or ten minute uh, video turned into almost, well, several times that. But I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please look forward to the full review of the Rockat Torch microphone. And uh, I look forward to giving it to you. Take care and God bless you.